let's go through a couple more challenging examples for establishing rank using RS nomenclature. The way we do this is we're going to go until we reach a point of difference. And what I mean by that is looking at these two, for instance. We already know that iodine is going to be number one, right? Its atomic number is much, much higher. So that's obviously number one. That's easy. But we've got a carbon here and a carbon here. They're both carbons. That carbon's attached. That carbon's attached. So we have to go until we reach a point of difference. This carbon is attached to another carbon plus two hydrogens, whereas this carbon is only attached to three hydrogens. So this carbon being attached to another carbon, that makes it rank higher than this one who's only attached to three hydrogens. So you go until you reach a point of difference. That's why this one ranks one, then two, then three, and then obviously hydrogen is always going to be number four. So if you look at this, again, making a model of this is very helpful until you can visualize it. If you make your model kit, or again, if you can visualize it, that's great too. If you make your model so that that hydrogen's pointing back, right behind, and you're looking straight down this face here, one, two, three, right? That's clockwise, yes. So we use the R designation, so that's R. 2-iodobutane. Let's do another example. Let's choose a more complicated example here. All right, so we've got our stereo center here. We've got a carbon attached directly, that carbon's attached directly, and that carbon's directed, attached directly. So again, we have to go until we reach a point of difference. This carbon is attached to three methyl groups, right? A methyl group, a methyl group, a methyl group. You can think of it that way, right? This carbon is attached to two hydrogens and a methyl group. This carbon is attached to two methyl groups and a hydrogen. So this one on the top is going to rank the highest, right? Because it's got methyl, methyl, methyl. This one will be second, methyl, methyl, hydrogen. You can think of it that way. This one is hydrogen, hydrogen, methyl, right? So Rank goes here, then here, then here. And obviously that hydrogen's number four. Hydrogen's always going to be the lowest. So if you break out your model kit, or again, once you get to a point where you can just visualize that hydrogen sticking behind and you're just looking down this face, right? Now we're going one, two, three. What direction is that? That's counterclockwise, right? That's not the way that my hands on the clock go. That's counterclockwise. That's why we have the S designation. So this is S, 3-ethyl, 2-2-4-trimethyl pentane. Ran out of room there. So this is something that just takes some practice until you get to a point where you can really visualize it. Um, I really recommend using your model kits, and there are lots and lots of examples in your textbook, and there are lots of practice problems in your textbook as well. I hope this helps you get started with RS nomenclature.